Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see various terms related to estimate. First, let's see what is centage charge or centage charges. See how you can define centage charges. It is defined as a charge or the cost of establishment, planning and designing of project. What is centage charge? It is that charge or cost of establishment, planning and designing of project. Now what is establishment? For example, in a construction project, you may require security guard, cabin for the security guard. Then you will also need or you will also require planning and designing cost. So all these costs will come under the category of centage charges. Then it will also include supervision charges. Those charges or those costs which will be required for the supervision at the site. This will also be included into the centage charges and see this these are also called as departmental charges or consultation charges and nowadays they are also called as project management consultant fees. So what happens when an engineering department executes the work of another department of government or local bodies a percentage amount about 10 to 15 percent of the estimated cost is charged. For the recovery of cost of establishment, planning, designing, supervision and audit, audit charges. So all these charges are the centage charges. What happens? When any engineering department will execute the work, maybe of another department, it may be a government department, it may be a local body, they will charge certain amount and that amount will be 10 to 15 percent of the estimated cost. And why will they charge this amount? For the recovery of the, of the cost they needed or they will need in the establishment, planning, designing, supervision and audit charges. Now how will they need the cost of establishment? What is cost of establishment? As I told you that in a project you may need security guard, security cabin, a temporary office for the uh, supervisors, various employees, then planning charges, designing charges. So all these charges will come under the category of centage charges. And as I told you nowadays it is also called as charges for the project management consultant. The next term is day work that is related to the estimate. See day work is what? It is a mean of payment by which a contractor is paid for a specifically instructed work on the basis of cost of labor, material and plant plus the markup for the overheads and profit. See what happens? There are certain items which cannot be priced in a normal way. For, so for such items or for such specially instructed work we will have to pay, pay to the contractor but it is, it is very difficult to uh, maybe it is very difficult to see or it is very difficult to measure how much work he has done. So what we will do for specially interest instructed work we will provide or we will give the amount to the contractor in the form of what is the cost of labor he needed, how much materials he uh, required or how much materials he will need to complete that particular work, how many plants did he occupied or used to complete that work. So all these charges will be calculated and we will also add some overheads or profit to the contractor. So that is nothing but your day work. Now what are the examples of day work? You can say you may have seen various designs in the plaster. So designs in plaster cannot be measured in the normal way but contractor has to be paid for that work. So how will we pay, pay him? We will pay him on the basis of cost of labors, materials and plants he engaged to complete that work. So day work is that mode of payment or mean of payment for which for that work which cannot be priced in a normal way that is the day work. So I will give you some of the examples of that work, day work. See design in plaster as I told you the example of design in plaster is an example of day work. Then architectural view of building. It is also that work which cannot be measured or calculated in a normal way. See if you want to calculate the plaster work you are measuring it in meter square normal plaster work. Normal brick work is measured in meter cube. Similarly, tiles can be calculated in numbers and meter square. But what about special works such as designing in plaster, architectural view of building, underwater uh, 
works then preparation of statues molds so all these works which are difficult to measure they cannot be priced in the normal way they will come under the category of day work and the payment will be done according to the how much labors or material uh, the contractor has engaged to complete that work and that is your day work so the above works are carried out on the day work system now what is uh, day work system in this system contractor has to main maintain a day work sheet there is a sheet which he has to maintain daily that how many materials he used to complete that work how many labors he engaged daily to complete that particular work so on the basis of that day work sheet contractor will be paid so this sheet is called as day work sheet and this sheet is checked by daily by the engineer in charge whoever, whoever is the engineer in charge he will check that sheet and he will pay him or pay to the contractor or contractor will be paid according to the day work sheet how many materials and labor he engaged to complete that work then the next term that is related to the estimate is the prime cost now what is prime cost see drawings which are received from the architect will not show you the details of certain items such as door and windows then fixtures and fastenings water supply and sanitary fitting even the geyser connection shower connections selection of electrical fittings types of handrail to be provided all this information or all this data is not there in the architectural drawing so what you will do the details of such items are as they are not available you will have to work out this items means you have to add certain amount a lump sum amount into the estimate to meet these expenses so that is nothing but your prime cost what is prime cost those items which are not shown or not certain or they are not shown in the architectural drawing but has to be added that cost has to be added into the estimate that cost will come under the category of prime cost now what are the examples i have given i have given the examples of door and windows what type of door and windows you will be using that is not mentioned in the architectural drawing then fixtures and fastenings to fix uh, fix the doors and windows that is also not mentioned in the architectural drawing then water supply and sanitary fittings what type of water supply and sanitary fit fittings you will be using what are what is their specification it is not mentioned in the architectural drawing whether you will provide geyser connect geyser or not we we will have to provide the geyser connection or not how many shower connections do you want or shower connections want to be provided or not so all these are those details which cannot be or which are not generally shown on architectural drawing so the details of such items are therefore not work out at the time of preparing the estimate but to meet the expenses on those items of those items a lump sum amount will be provided into the estimate and that amount is nothing but your prime cost then the next term is provisional sum and provisional quantities see for the specialized items such as installation of lifts air conditioners then uh, fire fighting equipments then special type of electrical fittings even the acoustical provisions for soundproofing etc so all these are those details which are not known at the time of preparing estimates this word is important those special works which are not known at the time of preparing estimates so what we will do we will arbitrarily add certain amount to the cost of estimated cost of project and those items will come under the category of provisional sum so for specialized items such as installation of lifts air conditions firefighting equipments maybe acoustical provisions etc so all these items or details of these items are not known at the time of preparing estimate so what we will do an experienced estimator will add arbitrarily the total a certain amount in the total estimated cost of the project to, to carry out this special type of work whose details are not known and that estimate or that cost is called as provisional sum now why i am using here experienced estimator see at the time of calculation of estimate quantities any estimator can calculate the various quantities by multiplying number length width but as it is a lump sum amount which is not known at the time of calculations or at the time of preparing the estimates so who will be adding this amount only the experienced estimator will know that this 
there is some special items that are need to be installed such as lifts air conditions so an experienced estimator will know that what amount he should add into the provisional sum or total cost of project so that it will be taken into the provisional sum and he will add certain amount arbitrarily so that is your provisional sum now there is a slight difference between provisional sum and provisional quantities i have told you what is provisional sum provisional sum is the amount and provisional quantities means those quantities for which provisional sum is added so when the quantities of particular items are not known provisional quantities are work out means normal quantities are not known at the time when normal quantities are not known what we will do we will provide the provisional quantities and they, we will work out the provisional quantities and they are provided separately into the estimate for such items so such items are called as provisional items and the quantities of those items will be called as provisional quantities for example as i am giving you the example of installation of lift so for installation of lift there are various items which will be involved let us consider just one unit of installation of unit so that unit will be provisional item but quantity quantities how much one one unit of say doors of lifts or anything ex anything related to that so that is the quantity means calculational part will be provisional quantities and amount and amount will be provisional sum and there will be so many provisional items in that so this is the provisional sum and provisional quantities now the next term is bill of quantities in short it is also known as boq so what is boq it is the detailed estimate of work prices dimensions quantity of item rate and amount of money required for the construction of civil engineering structure during the contracting see the rates of various items are filled into the boq by the contractor so what it will give it will i will show you the format in just next point see it will have or it will, it is a detailed statement of what type of work it is it it means it will have description of item what is the unit of item dimension of item what is the quantity of that item for example brickwork so brickwork will be measured in meter cube so it will have also the unit as well as what quantity you have calculated the rate and amount of money which will be required for the construction work for example i will give you one example for example i have to write a our I, I have to prepare a boq of brickwork so what i will do i will write down the description of brickwork it will be a first class brickwork in burnt brick masonry whatever it is the proportion will be so and so the unit will be as it is a brickwork quantity the unit i will be taking as meter cube so quantity for example i have calculated 10 meter cube of quantity and rate per rate per quantity will be something means rate per meter cube will be something so i will enter that and i will find out the total amount so that is nothing but your boq representation in a tabular form so rates of items in the bill of quantities is filled by whom it is filled by contractor and who is filling the tender for the construction work and see during the tendering process bill of quantities is prepared by engineer of department and is provided to the contractors contractors along with the tender form so who will be preparing this boq contractor will be preparing this boq at the time of filling the tender and during the tendering process engineer in of department engineer of the department will prepare the boq so boq is the statement of the amount what where that will be needed for a particular item of work and see this is the format of boq as you can see in the picture here then the last term that is related to the estimate is spot items or site items now what is spot items spot items refers to the items of existing building that require repairing or alterations for example there are certain items which will need either repairing or alteration into that uh, into that so to find the cost and quantity of spot items a quantity surveyor will inspect the item and he will calculate it he or she will calculate it but he will need some good knowledge of construction at activities because if you want to find out that whether this brickwork will need some repair work or not whether this plaster work which has cracks will need the repair work or not whether the rcc beam is uh, 
required the some alteration or not whether it will need some repair or not so who will do that if you know or if you have a good knowledge of construction activities then and then only you can identify how which are the spot items or which are the site items so spot items or site items are those items which will need either the repairing or the alteration into that so i will give you some of the examples of spot items or site items retrofitting of column will be the example of spot items then for example there are cracks in the plaster work so filling of cracks will be spot item if you want if you find out that a particular structure or particular member of the structure needs demolition that will also come under the category of spot items and if you find find out that a slab is leaking from somewhere so that will that will need waterproofing so waterproofing will be the example of spot items so are you getting what are the spot items spot items will be those items which will need repairing or alteration and it is only uh, useful in the existing building because new building will not need any repair or alterations so those items which are related to the existing building that will need repair or alterations that will come under the category of spot items or site items so this was the video about various terms that are related to the estimate thank you